guys, welcome back to another video, and today is my 2020 wishes for the Los Angeles Angels. So what I have is t top 10 prospect watch. I have what I want for the rotation, what I want for the bullpen, who I want on the field, who I want for DH, who I want for the no DH lineup, and who I want on the bench. So it's might be a long video, I don't know, it took me a long time to explain to my friends and stuff, but... So yeah, I got, I got the new setup in my room. I kind of like it. It's a nice little desk. You guys can't really see it, but I like it for now. So I might, I might get a new chair, my new desk soon. Who the heck knows? But let's get started right away. So so for the DH lineup, this is what it's going to be. David Fletcher batting first. Mike Trout batting second. Anthony Rendon playing third. Otani batting fourth at DH. Lestella batting 5th, Justin Upton batting 6th, Angleton Simmons batting 7th, um, Goodwin batting 8th, and Castro batting 9th, the new catcher. And now let's do this. If we had no DH, so I'll say Fletcher 1st, Rendon 2nd, Trout 3rd, Lestella 4th, Goodwin 5th, Simmons 6th, Upton 7th, Castro 8th, and then whoever's pitching last, obviously. And now we have the field. DH, I want Otani in the field. I, mean, I want to 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 Otani always DH. So we have pitcher, whoever. And then catcher, they just acquired a new catcher this offseason because they lost Martin Maldonado. And, um, Jonathan. Jonathan, whatever his last name was. Um, and then at third base, we have Rendon. The Rendon. He's going to be so good. Angleton Simmons, David Fletcher, Tommy Lastella. I mean, David Fletcher is second, and Simmons at short, but this is a weird one. So, Apoulos, one of the greatest players of all time, probably top ten player of all time. Hits absolute bombs. But ever since the last few years, he sucks. I'm over it. He's taking up $40 million a year in the Angels cap system. Not my cap, but taking $40 million a year. Once he's gone, we can sign flipping Christian Yellow to our team if we wanted to, even though it's not going to happen. But... We'll have enough money for it. So that's going to be nice once he freaking retires. And I want Lestella playing first base because he can play that. It's one of his secondary positions. And just put Poulos on the bench. Like, even though if you're taking up 40 mil, I don't want you on the team. It's not going to help. And then we have Goodwin in right field, Trout in center, Upton in left. And what I want to see is Joe Dell, the number one prospect coming from 2020. He's going to be playing a lot of right field. I'm going to try to test him out in 2020. I mean, if they play. But, so now let's go to the rotation and bullpen, then we'll do prospect watch to finish it off. So the rotation, I want Shohei Otani with the ace. I want Heaney, Andrew Heaney second, Griffin Canning at third. They only have one left-handed pitcher. And they just acquired Dylan Bundy on, on the free agency. So he's either really good or he sucks. He used to be one of the best pitchers in the league now. I don't know where he is right now. Now he's in the Angels. So... Let's hope he does good. And then the fifth person, kind of a wild card, Julio Tehran. The, um, he was in the Braves. He's like 27, I believe. He's not the youngest, but he's not the oldest either. Um, he's, I haven't really heard much of him. I don't think he's that good. But he can be good. I've heard yeah, he can be very good at some points. So let's go to the bullpen. Cam Bedrosian, Ty Buttry, um, Hansel Robles, Felix Pena. Something Ramirez, um, then Anderson, Butcher, Bard, and then their closing pitcher Middleton, who had Tommy John the last two seasons, so he hasn't really been able to play. So hopefully, he's gonna be back. He's gonna be able to play, and he's gonna be good, 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 good. He's gonna be able to be good. All right, so that's it for all the 2020 stuff. Now we got to the prospect watch. I'm not gonna get, actually. I still will. For my prospect watch, I have their position. Um, their name, their ETA, their age, their where they bat, what side they bat, what side they throw, their height and weight. Um, ETA, if you don't know, it means estimated time arrival. So what, that's when they think that they're going to make their major league debut in the MLB. So we got first Joe Adele. Um, he's going to be coming up in 2020. He's 21 years old. He plays outfield, obviously. He Bats right-handed and throws right-handed. He is 6'3 and 215. So he's an absolute beast. And their number two prospect is 
Brandon Marsh. Um, I haven't really heard much of him. He could be, I don't, I don't know. I think he's going to be good. But he's an outfielder. They already have like a million outfielders. Unless up to, up to retires in a few years. But who knows. He's supposed to be coming, coming up in 2020. Brandon Marsh is ETA. So probably around September call-ups. I mean, if there is September, I don't know. With the whole MLB situation thing. But I'll just let's just say it's a normal season. How I'm talking. Brendan Mars is probably going to be one of the September call-ups. He's 22 years old. He, they might mix him in the middle of the season if they're, like, losing a lot. Mix him in. He bats lefty, throws righty. 6'4", 215. So he's a, he's a big dude. Plays outfield. And then third, another outfielder, Jordan Adams, 2022. He's 20 years old, so he's going to be arriving in about two years. And then he's right-handed with batting and throwing. He is six foot two and one eighty, so light. He's light. Our next one is another young one, middle middle infielder. He can play shortstop or second base, doesn't matter. Jeremiah Jackson. I haven't really heard much of him. He could be good. I think he's gonna be good in the few years. Once they're gonna mix in some random person like they usually do every year, come on, they suck. But once they don't suck, they're gonna stop doing that. Hopefully. So he's 20 years old, and then he bats righty and throws righty. He's six foot and 165. So small dude Jeremiah Jackson is. And the next one, just a shortstop, Kyron Paris, very young, 18 years old, gonna come up in 2023. So when he is 21, he will be up when he is legal. <laughs> I would say. Um, He's righty from both things. He's six foot one sixty five, light like Jeremiah Jackson. You gotta be light to be a middle infielder. So next up, I'm excited for this one. Mm. Alright, <laughs> I just unplugged my Alexa. I'm excited for this one. Left handed pitcher, Patrick Sandoval. Um he's gonna be good. He's a big dude. He's a big dude. He's ETA 2020, so he's going to be coming up. I'd, they're probably going to put him in the bullpen to start. Um, he's 23 years old, so he's older for coming up in the MLB in 2020. So, Oh, my gosh, I'm tired. Let's hope he does good in um, 2020. He's lefty bat, lefty throw. I mean, bat doesn't matter for pitcher, but you know. He's 6'3", 190, so... Big guy. Next up, right-handed pitcher. I'm excited for this one, too. Chris Rodriguez. This is going to be coming up in 2022. Right-handed pitcher. He is 21 years old right now. He is righty from both sides. 6'2 and 185. So, yep. Next one. Big second baseman, 2020. He's not tall, but... Uh, 2020 is going to be coming up in 2020. I don't know if they're actually going to put him up in 2020. All the stuff going on, I don't know. Um, Jemai Jones, he's 22 years old. He's righty from both sides. He's five foot eleven, and he weighs two to five pounds. So that's for Jemai Jones. And then we have number nine, Deshaun Knowles. I don't know how I say his name, Deshaun Knowles. And then he is outfielder, 2023. He's only 19 years old, so he's gonna be up when he's 22. He is he's a switch hitter, and he throws righty. He's six foot and one sixty five, so very light human being. And last one, he's a young one, um, shortstop Arul Vera. He's gonna be coming up in twenty twenty four. Guess how old he is? Seventeen. So, dang, he's young. He's, he should still be in high school, but nope. When you're that good, you don't need to learn. <laughs> um, yeah, he's seventeen, coming up twenty twenty four when he's twenty one. And he's a switch hitter and throws ready. He's six foot two and weighs 170 pounds. So that's about it for the MLB video for the Angels. My my wishes, at least. Uh. So yeah, that's it for for today. I guess that's the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you share this to all your friends. Make sure all your friends know. Make sure all your friends know about the the flipping Griffin the Myth channel. Make sure they're subscribed. If they're not subscribed, bugs will bugs will be in your bed tonight. And if we have 100 subscribers, I'm gonna be getting a cool setup. 
And we get like a mic, a good camera, maybe a webcam, some cool LED lights, all that good stuff to get some good quality videos for you guys once I get more subscribers because there's really no point when you only have 35. Dude, my neighbors are screaming so loud right now. It's really annoying. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, Angels. I might be coming out with their new um, first round draft pick. And then I might do some more videos on the second, third, and fourth round draft picks. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to look more into that. But I know a lot about the first round picks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like the videos, tell you all your friends about these videos. And comment. Comment whatever you want. I don't care. Just not hate. If you comment hate. Actually, I don't comment hate. I don't care. Comment whatever you want. Because comments. Yeah. They're comments. So. Peace.